What's up guys? So today we have another episode of the Worth It series. So today we are finally going to check out the Luck Boosting Rings. So, Luck Boosting Rings are probably one of the more desired items on the server. And there's always questions of, do they work at all? If so, how good are they? What is the boost? Etc, etc. There's a lot of questions. So we know for sure that they work because, for example, the, the perfect ring, the ring that uh, owners use to uh, one-hit things and whatnot, is luck boosted and if you've seen me at Voss Masks you'll know that it was it's luck boosted I always get drops and and it's funny to see the reactions from the people who don't know that it's luck boosted they think I'm just that lucky and so there's a sort of debate um, if if the ring of fortune's worth it if the, the luck of the pugs is worth it if you can just stay at ring of wealth I so that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna test it out so I'm gonna kill Vorkath for no reason other than the fact that I want pets and might as well try to work on that series as well <laughs> while we do this. So, um, I want to get a good sample size so that way we know. Because if I just do like five loots or something like that, that's going to be inconsistent. So, I'm going to kill it 25 times each with each setup. And I'm going to try three setups. So, I'm going to do the first one where I have maximum luck boost. The lucky amulet is the best luck amulet. And the uh, eternal luck of the pugs or the normal luck of the pugs, there's, they're the same luck boost, is the best ring that there is. So I'm going to try that first, and then I'm going to try it without any luck boosts at all, with a treasonous ring and a ne necklace finger, so no luck bus boosts. And then I'll try it with a more, um, I don't know, I want to say welfare setup, because obviously I have other gear, but like, this is, I think, this is what the, the normal player should have. And, and for people who don't have a lucky amulet, it's not that hard to make. You pretty much just need lucky components, which are found in clue stuff. All that clue stuff people drop, loot it. Or do clues. I would strongly recommend getting it. So I'm gonna go kill those, and then we will check out the loots. Okay, so we are done. Uh, we've got the. Uh, I probably don't have these in a good way to look at them. Uh, we'll just kind of like make this a little smaller. Okay, so I kept track of every individual loot, and to prove that I did kill it. Um, all right, I logged out a second ago. I, I mean, here's the 150 bones from the 75. Obviously, I could cheat and buy those, but I mean, you see the other loots right here. You see it. I mean, all the loots are there. There's no point in cheating. I, you know, I feel like I've, uh, I've uh, got a decent reputation for actually doing the things. Um, normally, I just skimp out and do a short amount, so I'm because uh, I get lazy. But I figured with this, we have to we have to do a, a decent amount. So I did 25 of each, and. Um, Let's uh, sort of go over the results. So, I'll probably have like a nice picture. Um, I'll put that somewhere throughout. Like, I'll probably have it like on the screen somewhere so you can see it so it looks better than me just kind of reading off the list. And there's my dog's face with her, her, her blue tongue. Or I guess it looks more purple from that picture, but trust me, it's blue. Let me uh, skew back right up here. Alrighty, so. So, the first results with the Latpa. Right, let me get the other items out, just so we we can give a visual. If you wanted to see a visual, um, shoot it. Well, no, we're good as long as I don't show one tab. I hope I didn't show the tab. That would be spoilers. You know what? This is probably all spoilers. I'm dumb because you haven't seen any videos on this account for a while. Um, do you at least know I got the? I think they know it. I think you guys know I got the T-bow. Hey, it's fuck it. At this point, I'm not gonna do the video over or anything. Stick into it. So, uh, okay, so with the luck boost. So this is like the best luck boost. The highest possible. So with our results, we hit the common table 14 times, the uncommon table 8 times, the rare table 2 times, and the very rare once. The very rare, if you're wondering, is the dragon boat or necklace. Uh, so with no luck boosts, with the uh, just the necklace of anguish and the treasonous ring, we uh, scroll down here. So we hit the common table 22 times, the uncommon table once, and the rare table twice. So as you can see, luck boosting items are definitely worth getting. I would strongly recommend that that be one of your goals. If you're an Iron Man, it's possible. It's it's people think it's it's impossible in Iron Man. We John and I just got ours. We just finished lot puzzles on our. Um, I do Iron Man. I'm pretty sure that's in that episode. I feel like I'm spoiling everything now. Anyways, um, we only hit the rare table twice. Was just non exposed both times, and uncommon once. So with the uh, similar setup, like the, this is this is like your standard setup, I would think. I would think every player who's played for at least like a week or so should definitely have something like this. 
Maybe even Ring of Fortune. Honestly, I should have probably tested with Ring of Fortune because Ring of Fortune is probably... Ring of Fortune as well is not that hard to get. I would definitely get that. And uh, so with these boosts right here. So not the best boost, but, um, you know, pretty standard boost. It's a little bit better than a normal row and you do have the Lucky Amulet. We hit the common table 16 times, the uncommon table 9 times, and that was it. We did not hit the rare table once, but we did hit the uncommon 9 times um, compared to the one from the uh, not having any boosts. And we just didn't, uh, we didn't hit the rare table. So, uh, yeah, get luck boosting items. They're definitely worth it. I would recommend that be your first goal. Uh, if you want more information on how they work, let me know. I can make a full, like, in-depth video. And not necessarily how they work, because, I, I like I've said it a million times, that, that well, drop rates are, are controlled by so many different things. Um, it's just a big math equation that's accounting for so many different things, like the monster's combat level, um, your luck boosting items, what the rare drop is, what the chance of the rare drop is. It, like, it, 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 counts, it, 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 it accounts for so many different things, it's not really worth it to do the math and figure out any specific drop rate. I'm not going to do it, and I'm not going to give anybody else access to it, so it's just, a, you, no, just use your imagination. But um, I, I will definitely do some sort of video to show you how to get all of them and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. Get those luck items.